Yo, it's Sneak Bo, and I'm here with what? Son. I don't watch the press. I woke up like you see tonight. I'm living life, living like I'm about to die. Done no, I'm Sneak Bo. Come from Brixton, South London. I'm 24. No, sorry, I'm 23, but I'm 24 this month, July 25th. Get me, I'm feeling 24 already, sneak to the boat. <laughs> Performing at Culture Clash, that was like one of the best feelings, best shows I've ever done. I came out with Mixed Pack, that was the Bashment group. Yeah, like the feeling when I, I was in all white as well, yeah, so I was feeling like, I was feeling like a star, you feel me? Like an angel come out looking nice. But yeah, Culture Clash, that was the best, one of the best shows I've ever done, the experience. I would love to have that again, like, yeah, man. like that. That day at Culture Clash, I was with Popcorn, Cranium, more other artists, but Popcorn and Cranium. Basically, Popcorn, I've been listening to him since I started music because I grew up off Vibes Cartel and that, and Popcorn got signed by Vibes Cartel. Cranium, he made a rhythm called Lifestyle, and it's it's like, by where you want, by that. So, yeah, and I, I made a remix to that, and then I finally get to meet both of them. That's a blessing, man. That's a blessing when you bang out people's songs and then you get to finally meet with them, chill with them, and they're showing you respect and respecting you for your music, so yeah. When I was in the hood, my biggest song was Touch A Button. And then from there, that, that was when the transition started to happen because after that, when I, Touch A Button was a cover, so I weren't getting, making no money or getting paid from that. So I've jumped on a more commercial beat, more radio beat, radio type beat. It was produced by Ill Blue and that song was called The Wave. And yeah, from there, this is the sound, that was my sound. It, like the, the commercial electro dancey sound, it worked. And from there, I've just been running with it. So yeah, that's how the transition happened. I've been independent for six years, six, five years. So everything I've done independently, like I'm happy for the success I've had. But now I just feel like it got to a point where I just feel like I want to take it to a next level. I ain't been with a major, major label, so I want to see what they can do for me. I've got nothing to lose right now, seeing what they could do for me. And yeah, this, this should be a good ride, like, boom, two single deal. So, yeah, man. It's, it scares me having a deal, because I know now this could go very well, or it could go very well. You get me, like, with the songs I got, I know this is gonna, this has to go well, there's nothing Positive energy as well, man. That's, you get me? Just always keeping my heads up, man. Thumbs up. But the only thing is, now I know people are watching more, like, and they want to stay. Even though people want me to be, like, more successful, there's a lot of people waiting to see me flop. And yeah, man, I don't think that's going to happen with the bangers I'm sitting on. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nyla, she's from Jamaica. No, she. She's originally from Jamaica, but she lives in Miami now. And yeah, just cut the the way it come about. I think it was through my manager or the lady, but I think it was my manager. And but I know uh, one of her songs from back in the days, "Love Is Wicked." She's a part of a group called Brick and Lace. And yeah, when they got her, I was happy. You know, the song with Fuse ODG and Major Lazer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully, it's big, man. I'm making my mum proud just being out of the hood, out of trouble. That's the best thing that's happened in my life. Like where I'm coming from, my life was the hood. So coming out of that and yeah, now I'm just living free. I feel happier. That's, that's the best accomplishment for me. And my favourite song has to be Touch A Button. Yeah, Touch A Button. The one with Vibes Cartel. I made that in like 2010, 2011. And up till today, it just goes off like it's a fresh song, you feel me? It goes off like it's a, it's a fresh thing. Everyone just goes crazy, very crazy. So yeah, man, that's my best song. And I, when I made that, that's how I was feeling at the time. Everything I'm talking about, that is how I was feeling. I was just expressing myself. I weren't really thinking about, oh, this needs to blow on radio, or I need to get shows off this. I was just expressing my feelings on the beat, and it worked, man. With JJ, that's my brother, like for life, and he's he's in jail now. So that's that's why I stopped working with him because he's in jail. Political P, we got other problems, other issues, what, other than music, why we don't talk to each other no more. And yeah, like 
even though like I I love all them guys, you feel me, they're my friends and that. But God makes things happen for a reason and for us to argue and not talk no more, it's it's a reason, isn't it? Like there's a reason. So yeah man, I just believe it's God why I don't talk to these certain people no more, innit? You know, yeah. I've always I've always been solo, but I got like with Political Peak, we're from Brixton and he's from I'm from Angel Town, he's from Mitesford. So like it's like we were just cool and made like probably more than eight tracks together. So everyone thinks we're a duo, but we weren't a duo. We were just making songs, you get me? Like so yeah, I've always been a solo artist. Jet Ski Wave, boom, yeah, Jet Ski Wave, that's me and Shamar. But he's not a musician. That's just my my guy that rolls with me. Yeah, like we made that long time ago, like 2010. It's just about like good vibes. Yeah, That's that all it is, man. Good vibes. Positive. Yeah, man. Being happy, positive. It's not no gang thing. It's just jet ski wave. Happy life. Like you can't be sad on a jet ski. You feel me? Like <laughs> so it was happy. Gorge, that was my best friend. We grew up together. I've, I've just like we've been through everything together. Everything, and yeah, he he is like the, one of the only friends I've got other than Shamar that tells me to focus on music, stay out of trouble. When I come Brixton, he lives in Brixton. When I come Brixton, I, I used to live in Brixton, but I've moved out now. But when I come there, he, he don't want me around there like, cause he knows that what can happen. I could be in, get in trouble, anything can happen around there. So he don't want me around there. He just always putting me on the right path. That was my brother like, and then when he died, it just hurt me and I didn't know whether to like focus or be angry with people and that so but yeah I know what God would want want me to do anyway like he would want me to just blow enjoy life get girls that's that's exactly what he was about like just living getting money getting girls so yeah when he died I just knew like well it's just, I just had to get through it I had to get through it I don't know how I got through it but I got through it innit and yeah man so you see that you use it to kind of yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely, definitely, it's pushing me forward. It's made me more focused. It's made me even realise that the roles ain't worth it because he's dead now and I'm, I'm still doing shows. I'm still linking girls, you feel me? Like, life goes on, so I don't want to die for the roads or be on the roads and die because when I die now, life's going to go on. Everyone that's cool with me, they're not going to... Their life's not gonna stop, you feel me? Everyone's gonna live their life, enjoy. So it's not about dying for the roads or dying for people or dying for a gang. It's, it's just about like living your life, enjoying, being happy, man. Yeah. Cult yeah, culture clash was crazy. But the big clash now, there was a difference between both of them. Like culture clash was more, it's a, it's a, the arena, in it? And it's big and the vibe's good and that. But the big clash now, it's like, this is, not that Alter Arena is not my people, but this is my fan base, like 100%. I know everyone in there knows my lyrics, like word for word. So when I, when I was about to come out of the big clash, I was just so happy that I'm here. And you know what the realness is? I did that for them for free, like, just because I know, like, what this is going to do for the community, the youth, the black people, like, yeah, so that's, that's the only reason why I went to that place and just done that, like, and, and plus, I'm not, even a, I'm not even really meant to perform in that area, but I just said, no, this, this, this is a night, man, this is a night to remember, fam, and yeah, like I said, I'm, all I'm getting is good feedback, like, I spoke to YouTube, good feedback, Twitter that night, popping, that's all I needed, and no one, there's people that want, that promotion, that's I got that for free, you feel me? So I'm happy man. Rippy Bong Skeng means like it's just another way from saying ride on my pipe, come be, come do so it's free it's um it's just talking kinky to a girl but being wavy with it and funny and yeah man. Instead of telling a girl I want to beat like and being rude, you're telling her ride on Rippy Bong Skeng but but I, I've never said it to a girl in like real life but i say it to the girls in my lyrics <laughs> because in me saying it in, in real life is like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It's cheesy but in the in the lyrics it's cool man it's cool i just want to be happy 
like I've been stressed for years you feel me like going through mad stuff so now just want to be happy live life smile that's all I'm about living life now like happiness yeah man yeah after my two singles I might after this two single deal I might drop one more single then an album but right now I've got like eight eight songs I could say a hundred percent bangers and singles like and I, and then I got like 30 that are more like touch a button ain't on nothing all of that type of stuff so yeah I just got I just got too much songs right now so there will be definitely bigger and better projects and right now in Macare I've never worked with no one that's bigger than me like Obviously, I've worked with Tiny Temper. He's probably the Tiny Temper chip and they're probably the biggest people. But when I mean like a lot of people have had their American features, I ain't ever had that chance. I know when I get that chance, boom, I'm making bangers. <laughs> I already got bangers on my own, you know that. Focus. At one point in my life, I thought I was stuck in the hood. I thought this is all I know. I thought there's no way out. I'm going to be a gangster for the rest of my life. But I realised, like when I started flying out and leaving South London, I realised there's more to life. I don't want to be, like you don't want to be in the hood for forever. The people that you think have got you, ain't really got you. And when things get serious, they're gone. Like, so just focus on your life, focus on making yourself better. And yeah, man, just be positive. Trust me.